Welcome to the Thriving Artist Podcast, where we share strategies and support for artists to thrive. We know that the art world can feel like a lonely place, and we want to provide a network of support, impactful strategies, and an abundance of encouragement to help you grow your authentic art career. We're your hosts. I'm Jamie Smith. And I'm Kaylin Butine, and we are also the co-founders of the Thrive Together Network, a community of female and non-binary identifying artists and artists who are caregivers. We truly believe in community over competition, and we're so glad you're here. Enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Thriving Artist Podcast. We are so happy you're here. My name is Jamie Smith and I am one of your hosts. And Instagram and I have a very <laughs> love-hate relationship. Where, where is your actual love for Instagram, Jamie? Well, are you- <laughs> I'm trying to be positive on the episode, okay? And I'm your second host, Kaylin Butine. I would say Instagram and I have a pretty solid relationship that has more or less been a mutual support for each other over the years. Well, you do a very good job, (laughs) Kaylin. How many accounts do you run? Are you going to confess to us? I don't want to admit to the podcast. They're going to think I'm crazy. I have four business accounts and one personal account, like private account that I actually post to. You post on them all. I do. Absolutely fascinating. It's bonkers. And I'm very excited about this episode and the episode four ways to make your Instagram experience easier because I feel like you have so many great habits. So it's really exciting for you to share and be such a great example. And I get to be the example of maybe <laughs> fellow artists who struggle, who do not feel inspired by the app and have a hard time. So between the two of us, I think we're going to deliver a very fair <laughs> episode. <laughs> yes. Um, well, just let, let me say I don't have a perfect relationship with Instagram, but I just feel like I've figured out what I want to be there for and I let go of everything else, right? Yeah. So yeah. anyway, let me start us off, Jamie, four ways to make your Instagram experience easier. You probably could have guessed it. The first one I want you to, first thing I want you to do is to use a planning tool. What I mean is that I want you to use a platform like Plan, P-L-A-N-N, Planoly, Later. Those are the ones that I know and I'm familiar with, but there's lots out there that allow you to pre-schedule your posts and to actually plan your Instagram on your computer. Um, What is so powerful about this is that you can batch your work and get into this planning marketing mode. Um, And, you know, when you're thinking about how to structure your week, it's like one task rather than something that you are constantly feeling like you're behind the ball and having to come up with something every day or multiple times a week. I also love using a planning app or a planning system, as I mentioned, because I don't like to be hunched over on my phone a lot of the time when I'm having to pull together content. I want to just sit, set up my computer and do it all on there. So I really recommend using a planning app or a planning system. Um, I typically spend one hour to 90 minutes a week Um, planning out my Instagram for the four business accounts that I run on Sunday nights or Mondays. And then it's like, I already know it's done. It's there. I do go in and post every day, but I, I'm not sitting there coming up with what I'm posting, collecting the images. I do that all at once. Oh, it makes my life so much easier. (laughs) I love that it creates more of a strategy versus a scramble. Yes. And it just feels like there's a plan, of course, but also this idea that it is a business account and it is something that needs thought. Yep. And something I love by doing this and having a plan is, you know, on the Thrive Together Network that you do a great job of having these special days each week. So we show new members work, we, mm-hmm. you know, feature programs, course launches. 
But to do that, we need to really have this pre set up and really thoughtful. So I really appreciate what you do for us. Thanks, Jamie. So our second tip to make your Instagram experience easier is to post and be present when you post. So what this means is that when you post, hopefully it's all the work's been done before you by your past self so that when you are in that moment, you're opening your app and you're like, okay, I'm going to share this thing that I had pre-planned and pre-scheduled. You can take 20 minutes. The heavy lifting is done. You can just show up and be present on the app and provide support and comments, right? So the key is that, you know, you really want there to be engagement. When you post, you want there to be traction. So we don't want you to post and, you know, just kind of disappear. We want you to show up, comment. If somebody comments on your um post, comment right back, like make it a conversation and honor the folks who are showing up for you and engaging with your work, like give them some interaction and comments back. Mm -hmm. And actually the algorithm says like all of the kind of research that I've done on Instagram, it says that, you know, the more traction a post gets, the higher the algorithm is going to boost that post. So you want to be there. You want to be present. You want to you know, be interacting and showing up when you are actually posting. So post and be present. And you taught me the phrase, don't post and ghost, which is what I was doing. And I really love it. And what I decided to do when I realized this was, you know, something that I wanted to change is I actually decided that for me to post and be present, I actually am going to post less. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of going for quality over quantity. So I, instead of trying to do, you know, a post a day, I do three a week and I'm able to spend more time with it. And then when I post have more time there. So I just think, you know, you, we often hear tips and tricks and all the things we have to do, but finding something that works for you and feels good is more important than doing everything perfectly and all yeah. of the amount of posts. Yeah. And I, I think it's so easy to feel like there's just this pressure to post constantly and we're it's just this big storm of energy that we just feel like we're shouting out into the void. Um, but I love what you said about quality over quantity, Jamie. And and actually the science around Instagram is pointing more towards that too. Like it's better to post two or three times a week where the quality is really good. You're present, you're showing up, you're engaging with folks and with that content rather than posting lots and lots and just getting stuff out there all of the time. Mm-hmm. Um So I love this third tip. Um, It's one that Jamie and I both have learned recently, and it's it's been a big game changer for us. Our third tip for how to make your Instagram experience easier is to use real, R-E-E-L, templates. So I would say it would be safe for me to say that you and I, Jamie, were and maybe still a little bit are a little overwhelmed by the video aspect of Instagram, kind of the way you can safely say that (laughs) I was overwhelmed by the photo (laughs) aspect of Instagram. (laughs) So yes. Yeah. So I, and I too, like I was never overwhelmed by the photo aspect because I lived a past life as a photographer, but that once videos started picking up all this traction, I was just like, Oh no, like I have, resisted joining TikTok and have been a little bit upset to see Instagram move towards all of this video content. But I have to say the game changer for me has only come in the past couple of weeks. It's been to use real templates. Um, And what a real template is, please make sure you Google it and find some resources if you don't know exactly what you're talking, what we're talking about, because it's hard to explain, um, Mm -hmm. you know, without showing a visual. But Real templates are basically when somebody else, another creator on Instagram creates 
a reel, there's a feature where you can make that reel into a template. And as you're browsing reels, you'll see at the bottom of some of the reels where it's showing their audio um, information, their follower, their username. Sometimes there's a button that says, use this template, I think is what it says, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, template. and what it means is you actually take the format, the structure that that person has created and the audio and Instagram will break that down for you. So all you have to do is insert your content content in the same format. And actually using real templates helps your reels get traction in the algorithm because typically it's a popular you know, way to organize the content. It's clickable. People like it. It's people are using catchy audio or audio that feels like good, like it's really connecting. Um, a, an example for me is kind of when you see a song that's really catchy and there's like beats to that song. No, I was like, how do people do that? Right. The images are using templates as, on the beat. They're using templates. Game changer. And you just feel like you're really a part of this world that <laughs> yeah. these other people that seem to do this effortlessly, now you're one of them, but yep. I'm sure they weren't doing it effortlessly. And now we get to benefit from templates. Yes. And the only reason we even know about templates is because of the Thrive Together Network the boost group that yes. is a group of, of us that meet. Um, so every Tuesday we do art and tea, Kaylin and I, we host it live. It's a time for reflection. It's time for community to come together and we learn a couple things. And after that, we started to say, if you want to stay on the session for 20 more minutes, we'll all post together on Instagram and by commenting and liking on each other's posts, you know, it was to a encourage each other, mm -hmm. that they're not alone in this void of Instagram, but also to say to the algorithm, this content is valuable, uh, you know, bump us up to let our right. followers, <laughs> our actual followers actually see our, our posts. Right. So it's been super interesting. We now have close to 30 artists that stay, which is wild. Yep. And it's just a way to connect it. For me, I felt like way less alone in this whole thing, which has just been so wonderful. Yes. And, you know, it's all part of this uh, fee that you pay to be part of our membership. It's all this connection is built in. Yes. And just a huge shout out to our fearless boost group leader, April Lachure, who's an artist, a video queen. She's been teaching us all about reels, but also... She's really into TikTok, so it's only a matter of time <laughs> before you know we're we're moved. She's converted right us. over there. We'll yeah. see. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to be a hard convert to TikTok, but it might happen. April is um, a very persuasive woman. She is. she is. I love Boost Group, and like you said, Jamie, it just feels like we're not alone in doing this. We're literally carving out this time to show up, to be present for each other and to engage with each other's feeds at, at Boost Group and to, to kind of share our strategies. And April isn't the only one. There's lots of folks on there who are just like, oh, have you tried this? You could do that. Yes. Like I'm learning so much. It's, it's yeah. so great. Um, so of course, our next tip you could have seen this one coming. We want you to make your Instagram experience easier, easier by getting community support. So this might be joining TTN so you can be part of our boost group or, you know, just joining the network so that you can connect with other artists in that way. We share uh, artist features. We're always kind of trying to promote and get you guys to follow each other and connect with each other on the network. You could do this on your own by meeting up with an artist in real life. Maybe you guys meet once a week for coffee and you plan your social media together. Um, maybe you ask another artist virtually or in your own life to be your social media accountability buddy and you kind of just talk through your strategies and show up for each other. You comment on every post, right? Um, no matter what way you choose, we do believe that community support is something that can make your Instagram experience easier. So we want you to get plugged in, connect with other artists, and don't walk alone in this crazy social media journey that we're on. 
Well, and I think the biggest part to that is finding a good motivator. I know for me, I'm just not self-motivated on Instagram. I am in a lot of other spaces in my life. It's not there. Right. And what I think is so wonderful is that by having the community, we do a community challenge every week as well in Boost Group. And that has helped me because I really need people to say, okay, we need this of you and I need some accountability and I'm finding I actually have that. So yeah, I just feel really motivated. I feel really empowered in a way that I really, it does not come naturally for me on that platform. Well, Jamie, let me give you a gold star. I'm virtually handing you a gold star. You're doing great. (laughs) Um, And just for example, like last week, our TTN boost group challenge was to use a real template, right? So it's kind of all connected to what we're learning, what we're discovering as a community, and how we're feeling inspired to make our all of our experiences better on there. So um, it's amazing. And we just hope that these, uh, we really hope that these tips, these ideas, these thoughts that we have will make your Instagram life easier because it really matters to us. And, you know, use those templates, find that motivation and find friends and leaders, you know, like April has been such an inspiration to me. Yep. Give her a follow April Lachure art. So it's L A C H E U R art. She does tons of interesting content, finds those trending sounds. Just, it's really nice to have these people around me that I know are working so hard to figure this out as well. Yes. We love you, April. Thank you for inspiring us and this episode. So once again, our four tips for making your Instagram experience easier, use a planning tool, post and actually be present when you're posting, use real templates and get community support. Thank you for listening. As always, Jamie and I are here for you. We are authentically cheering you on and we really believe in the work that you are doing to be a thriving artist. 